Welcome all of you future educators, current educators, and lifelong learners to another video where we take technology, teaching strategies, and emerging trends to create engaging educational experiences. In this video, we're going to look at a technique to enhance our test security in online courses using the learning management system Canvas. Amanda is an experienced online instructor, but her school just switched over to the Canvas learning management system. She knows the importance of test security and many of the tactics used to enhance it. However, being on a new system, she cannot figure out how to randomize the questions on the test. But no worry, we've got this under control, so let's go ahead and walk her through it. So it's pretty simple to set up random question orders on tests in Canvas. The trick is to look for what is called a question group. If you select the shuffle answers on the question page, no good. It doesn't work. That only shuffles the answer options for each question. It doesn't actually shuffle the questions itself. Now honestly, using both tactics will help out with the test security. However, it doesn't help with shuffling the actual questions themselves. So let's go ahead and look at the question groups to get that piece done. When either creating a new test or editing a test, we'll need to switch over to the Questions tab on the Question Building area. You'll see that you have three options, New Question, New Question Group, and Find Questions. Creating a question puts that question in the quiz, but it leaves it static for everyone no matter how many times they take it, so it will always appear on the same spot in the test every time. That means it makes it a little bit easier for someone to do that glance over at the screen next to them and have a chance at getting a little bit of help on that quiz. Now find questions allows you to pull questions that you've already created or imported into a test bank. Now we have other videos on how to create question banks, so we're going to leave that for now. Now what we're going to look at is actually creating the questions directly into a question group on a quiz. Thus what we want to do is go ahead and look at this new question group button. Now once you create the question group and you name it, you'll see a little plus in the right hand corner. Simply click on this plus button and begin creating questions. All of these questions will be put into this question group. Let's create three questions on identifying, let's say, verbs really quickly. Alright, so once you have a group of questions in there, you simply click on the pencil icon on the right hand group to adjust how many questions are given per test attempt. So do we want two, or do we want all three, or how about just one? It's okay even to do this if you have all 50 questions in one group on a test, because it randomizes the question order that those questions will display to the students. So each student will get the same 50 questions if we do that, but they're going to be in a mixed up order for each student. So in our particular case, even if we use all three questions, every student's going to get the three questions, but they're going to be in a different order. So let's go ahead and set it up like that. And then lastly, you can change the point value for each question. I realize that each question in the question group has to be the same amount of points, but you can go ahead and change that point value up here at the top as well. And that's about it. You just figure out the best way to use as many groups as you need to get the questions randomized like you like them. And now Jennifer, remember, you can always go back to the group and add more questions at any point, even if you add 50 more verb questions in here. Unless you change the settings, only three of those will be pulled out. The more the merrier and the more questions in a set, generally speaking, the more secure it makes that test overall. So do you guys also think that question groups or similar items that randomize test questions make it more secure for online tests? How many questions do you actually think need to be in a question set to really feel good about pulling, say, five random questions out? Would you need 10 questions in the set to feel pretty confident in your security? 20? Maybe 100? Let us know what you think in the comments section below on your thoughts about how many questions we really need to add to these groups to feel confident in the security. Also, if you like content like this where we talk about enhancing your classes using the technology and teaching strategies, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we are always trying to get new content out there to help you guys make those educational experiences just a little bit better. But in the meantime, good luck, keep building, and we look forward to seeing what you guys create.